I can't focus on what needs to get done I'm on notice, hoping that you don't run what up hooligans it's jennifer and welcome to my first winter video of 2018 i'm so excited to show you guys this video first of all sorry i'm blinding you with my friggin bright yellow hoodie i look like a traffic sign i know to be honest i've been wearing this for like four days straight so it's kind of gross but like <laughs> what else is new today i'm showing you guys a couple of different diy Freaking, what am I doing today? DIY Christmas gifts. These don't have to be just for Christmas if you don't celebrate Christmas. Anything in general that you need to give gifts for, I got you covered. I tried to use my brain to come up with some unique, cute gift ideas that I would actually want to receive, so hopefully this actually helps you out. And if this doesn't help you out, let's be honest, you're probably gonna buy gifts for everyone anyway, so this is just for entertainment. Oh, also if you stick to the end of this video, there might be a giveaway. I don't know. <laughs> Imagine if I said that and there wasn't a giveaway at the end. Lol. If you like this video, make sure to like it, not just emotionally. Okay, la di da da subscribe, whatever. Let's get on with the video. Okay, so first I'm gonna show you guys how to make these really, really cute rings that are so simple and so quick to make. So all you're gonna need is some wire. I have some silver and gold wire here. Optional, but you can also use some beads. And I actually got these supplies through The Jewel School, which is this YouTube channel. So if you're really into making jewelry, check out Susan's channel, aka Jewel School. I'll link it down below. I think it's awesome, you should check it out. She uploads every single week. And I actually followed one of her tutorials to make one of the rings I'm about to show you guys. She has a bunch of like ring and bracelet tutorials tutorials, that kind of stuff. All right, so check them out. I'll leave the link in the description and I'm gonna show you guys how to make the rings. Okay, so for the first ring, it's super easy. Like I said before, I'm just grabbing a length of silver wire, cutting it with my wire cutters, or honestly, you can just bend it back and forth until it snaps the ratchet way. And then I'm taking a bead and putting it onto the wire and kind of just folding down the sides at a 90 degree angle so that the bead doesn't move around. And then I'm grabbing this giant metal baton that is actually a ring shaper holder size thing. I have no idea what this is called, but when I was in my metal smithing class at NYU, I used these a lot, so I'm familiar with this. It just basically has the different ring sizes on there. I'm a size six, so I just kind of looped my wire around the size six part of the baton. <laughs> That's totally not the correct name. So I actually followed the tutorial on the jewel school to make this ring, so I'm gonna link that video down below also, but this is how mine turned out. Okay, for the second one, I'm grabbing some gold wire. I'm not really measuring how much I'm taking, but I'm just wrapping it around the size 6 mark on the metal baton, and I just keep looping it until everything is looped. Mm, that's not a very good explanation, but this is what I ended up with. If you use more wire, you'll have more loops. If you use less, there'll be less, obviously, but this is what that one looks like. For the next one, I'm just taking a small length of silver wire, and I'm wrapping it around the baton again. Also, you don't have to use the baton if you don't have it. I mean, you probably won't have it. So just wrap it around your finger or just any circular object that matches the size of your finger. After I took it off the baton, I just clamped it with my pliers just to flatten it out a bit more. And then I used my wire cutters and I cut the excess off so that the edges were flush with each other and I just kind of pressure fitted them together. But you can see that the edges match up. Now it looks like one cohesive ring. All right, for this next one, I'm taking a longer section of silver wire and I'm wrapping it around the metal baton once again. I'm squishing it down so that it's kind of flatter and now I'm taking some little mini pearls and I'm just gonna thread it onto- I mean not thread, I'm just gonna push it onto the wire and I'm using three of these just because I thought it was cute. Once I had that on there I took some E6000 glue and I just squeezed a little line onto the middle rung and then I pushed my beads back onto the space that they were before so that the glue would be inside of the beads if that makes sense and after it dried this is what it looked like i feel like this kind of looks like a tiara actually what the heck what kind of like tiara am i looking at that does not look like a tiara but anyway i also made another one with a single bead with two loops of wire and that is what this one looks like for the final one i'm going to show you guys i'm using a length of gold wire so i'm going to clamp the wire in the middle and then kind of just bend the wire so that i make an angle and then i'm going to also bend the wire upwards on either side of the angle so that I make kind of like a Wonder Woman sign but like also just like a single chevron and then obviously I'm gonna loop it around my metal baton again 
I need a better name for this than metal baton. And then I cut off the excess wire and then I just pressure fitted the edges together. I think this one's so cute. So these are all the rings that I made. Honestly, made these all in under 10 minutes and you can make a bunch of these. They're really affordable to make and yeah, I think they're really cute. So this is what it looks like on my hands. I purposely painted my nails for this shot because I was like, you guys do not need to be looking at my ratchet nails. Also, I can never be a hand model because I literally don't know what to do with my fingers. They're so awkward. So enjoy these awkward hand modeling shots. All right, next I'm gonna show you guys how to make this Friends t-shirt. I chose the TV show Friends because it's currently very popular and it has been for a while. To be honest, guys, I tried watching the first episode and I couldn't get through it. Obviously, you don't have to do Friends specifically. This is just to give you the idea that you can give someone a customized shirt. Let me show you guys how I did it. Okay, so I started out with a blank white t-shirt. My brother actually had this in his closet from when he was eight years old and he never wore it and he threw it at me and was like, hey, do a DIY with this and I was like okay so I pulled up this friends logo then I took my ruler and some white chalk and I just drew a line for where I wanted my letters to sit then I took some more chalk and I kind of just freehanded the friends logo onto the t-shirt and now I'm taking some black fabric paint and squeezing a little bit out as one does with paint and then I'm going to just paint the friends logo on there if you don't believe you have the artistic ability to paint a shirt you can definitely just do something on transfer paper and iron it on okay because I messed up I'm gonna go back in with some white fabric paint and just clean up the edges a little bit and now I'm going in with some red yellow and blue paint to paint in the little dots in between the letters and now technically you should be finished but I am extra and I wanted to go one step further. I honestly might have ruined the shirt with these but I added these little stars. I thought they were cute at first but right now I'm like I don't know if that was the best idea. But after it dried this is what it looks like. I'm a fan even though I'm not a fan of the actual show. So here are some modeling shots of me pretending to be a Friends fan. Oh my gosh I can just feel all the Friends fans instantly unsubscribe. Please don't hate me. Next, I'm going to show you guys how to make some homemade candles with some really good scenting scents. Mm, that was not a real sentence. To start off this DIY, you're going to need some empty jars. These are just from honey jars. Yep. <laughs> you're also going to need some candles or any kind of candle wax, like beeswax or soy wax, that kind of thing. I got this one from the dollar store, and if you recognize this one from a DIY video, you an OG. You're also gonna need some candle wicks and some essential oils or candle oils or candle scent oils or scented candle oil. I'm not a professional candle maker, I don't know the terms. Okay, so to protect my surface, I'm using this egotistical picture of myself, and I'm flipping it to the back so that I don't ruin my beautiful face. Just kidding. So I I'm basically gonna shred up the candle using this butter knife and I'm not gonna lie to you this is pretty time-consuming and if I'm being more honest with you I feel like it was kind of a waste of time for me to shred all of these up because I could have just melted the entire candle and it would have been the same but anyway I'm shredding up two jars worth of candle wax that's just because when it melts it's gonna be a lot more dense than when it's shredded up actually I would recommend shredding up even more than two jars maybe be even three jars but I'm gonna transfer that to a bigger jar so we can melt it later and I'm doing the exact same thing for the second jar as well and I know it might seem kind of paradoxical to use a store-bought candle for homemade candles but dollar store candles are like one dollar we're gonna customize it and make it like a Bath and Body Works quality candle but for like five dollars you know what I mean like it's okay just like roll with it okay guys as I'm editing this video I realized that this is a very good opportunity for some ASMR but my dumb self was watching bad neighbors while filming this video so I it's gonna be some like bad ASMR so enjoy all right 
towards the end it was some pretty good ASMR but now I'm gonna glue my wicks down to the bottom of the jars with some E6000 glue and I'm just pushing it down with the end of a paintbrush now I'm using some pencils to kind of stabilize and centralize the wick so that when I pour it in it's not gonna wiggle and wobble around while I wait for the glue to dry I'm gonna melt down my candle wax just by doing a double boiler method this took me 10 15 minutes and once it was melted I took it off the stove and now I'm putting my essential oil fragrance in okay so I'm adding like 10 15 20 drops in there didn't really count but I'm just gonna pour the wax into each jar okay and then I just let those sit overnight to cool down and right here is s the most satisfying thing ever basically when the wax is like not completely dry it's kind of like peelable and moldable so I'm just peeling it off of the edges of the jar and oh this thing is so satisfying. The next morning when the candles were cool, there was actually this giant dip in the middle. And to fill those up, I basically just melted down the excess fruit roll-up candle wax that I just peeled off earlier and poured that into the jars to fill it up. And once that dried, it still kind of had a little bit of a dip. So I just took my hair dryer and I melted down the top so that it would level out. While I was waiting for that to completely settle, I made some labels for my jars so that they looked professional and all so that you can actually give them to people and it looks nice. So I just freehanded some labels, cut those out, and then I just glued those onto the jars with some E6000 glue. Last step is to cut off the excess wick and now you have your homemade candles that smell amazing. So these definitely cost me less than $5 per candle to make, excluding labor fees. I mean, you could buy a candle from the store, but I feel like if it's homemade, there's just so much more effort put into it. Yeah, I just think it's such a cute gift. You've made it to the end of this video, congrats. So I'm gonna show you guys what you're gonna win. Honestly, this is not really related to the video at all, but I actually made this in one of my previous DIY Christmas present videos in the past. It was this Mendez crew neck that I literally have never worn. So if you wanna win this, subscribe and follow me on Instagram. And I'm literally just making up the rules as I go. Ah. Uh... Oh, and then comment down below what your Instagram handle is and I will just be picking one. I will put all the rules in the description box. So that was just a little mini giveaway but I am going to be doing a giant holiday giveaway in the near future so stay tuned for that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what kind of holiday videos you want to see next. Oh shout out of the week is right here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!